Hello children. Good morning. Did you revise our last week lesson and the difficult words? Okay. Are you ready for a small dictation test? Yes. Let's do the dictation test. I am going to count from 1 to 10. Quickly go and bring your EBS textbook, EBS notebook, pencil and your eraser. Quick. Shall I start counting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine and ten. Are you all ready for the test? Yes. First, write down the numbers from one to five. Have you written the numbers? Just write from one to five. So, as I tell you the words, you will start writing. Okay. The first one, cool, cool, second one, beautiful, beautiful, third one, Summer, summer. Next one, ground, ground. And the last one, shady, shady. If you have got your answers correct, with the correct spelling, put a tick against your answer. Now check your answers. If your answers correct, with the correct spelling, put a tick against your answer. Have you got all your answers correct? Very good. Well done children. Well done. Shall we listen to our friend Sulaiman to tell us about the pond? Hi friends. I am Sulaiman. I am here to speak about the pond in my village. A pond is a place where water gets collected from the rain. Fishes, insects, snakes, frogs, crabs and turtles live in the pond. Flowers like water lily and lotus are also found in the ponds. A lake is bigger than the pond. It is very dangerous to go into the pond to pluck the lotus and lily flowers. Bye friends. Thank you Suleiman for telling us about the pond. Now children, take out your EVS textbook, EVS classwork, pencil and your eraser. EVS textbook, EVS notebook, pencil and your eraser. Actually, take page number 79 in your EBS textbook. Page number 79 in your EBS textbook. Have you taken? Okay. Now what you are going to do is, you are going to underline the words and we are going to learn the spellings. We are going to underline the words and then learn the spellings. Shall we do it? Underline the word 
pond pond fishes fishes insects insects snakes snakes frogs frogs crabs crabs turtles turtles water lily water lily the last one bigger bigger have you finished underlining children okay children now shall we call a friend sultana to talk about the place from where she comes from shall we call her and listen to her hi friends i am sultana i live near the river i love to watch the river flowing it starts its journey from a mountain flows a path and finally flows into the sea we use river water in many ways because in olden days people lived near rivers many kinds of fishes crabs and birds live in and around the river sometimes boat traces are also held in the river bye friends thank you sultana for sharing about your place now children take page number 80 and underline these words underline river the next one boat trace boat trace okay children now let us call a friend gopal to to share about his place let's listen to him Hi friends I am Gopal I belong to the fisher folk We live near the sea The sea is a large water body The sea water is salty We get salt from the sea Plants fishes turtles prawns and crabs live in the sea We go fishing in the sea using fishing boats called as catamaran and fishing nets. We also get pearls from oysters. Bye friends. Thank you Gopal for telling us fr- about the place from where you come from. Now children take page number 81. and underline these words c salty catamaran fishing nets and oysters now children Uh, let us call uh, ram and kamala to share us about the place from where they had c- come from shall we listen to them hi friends i am kamala hi friends i am ram we are here to share about the place from we are from we are from the desert 
the desert is a very hot and a sandy place. There are hills of sand called sand dunes. The cactus plant grows in the desert. Camels are used for traveling in the desert. The camel is called as the ship of the desert. Bye friends. Bye friends. Okay children, now take page number 83 and underline these words. Desert. Sandy. Sand dunes. Cactus. And camel. Friends, shall we do an activity? Okay friends, take page number 85. In this activity, we have to classify the following words to where they belong to. Shall we do it? Where does the camel belong? Yes, the camel belongs to the desert. So write your answer. Camel in the desert column. Have you finished children? Okay. Where can you see the duck? Yes, you can see the duck in a pond. You can write the word duck in the pond column. The next one is the tiger. Where can you see a tiger? Yes, you can see the tiger in the... The next word is the cactus. You can see the cactus in a desert. So write the word cactus under the desert. Have you finished children? Okay, the next word is the sand. We can see sand in the desert. You can write the word sand in the desert. What is the next word? Fish. Fish you can see in a pond. Yes. The next one is an elephant. Where can you see an elephant? Yes, you can see an elephant in the forest. The next one. Water. Where can you find plenty of water? Is it in the forest? No. Or is it in the desert? No. You can find plenty of water in a pond. What's the next one? Ninth. Lotus. Where can you see the lotus? Yes, you can see the lotus in a pond. The next one. Deer. Where can you find a deer? Yes, you can see the deer in the forest. The last one, tree. Where can you find the tree? You have lot of trees. Yes, you can see lot of trees in the forest. I hope you like this lesson. Make sure you revise all these dictation words. Next class, you will have a dictation test. Don't forget to do your Kahoot and Khan Academy Kids. Bye friends. Stay home. Stay safe.